Hello, my name is Makasi. Wie geht es Ihnen? So, today, as you can see by the title and thumbnail, we're talking about the Rick Owens X Montclair collaboration Fall Winter 23 Big Rocks and Acid Goat Fur. This collaboration is in line with the Luxor collection where the motif of acid dye is used on a few of the runway looks. Solid, solid collection. A lot of beautiful item I would love to have to talk about on this channel. And then one very, very beautiful item that I would love to keep forever. I will reveal it when I get the item. I don't have it in hand yet, so let's not jinx anything. Let's just get into it, no long intro. These big rocks are mid-calf high pull-on boots. These are my longest and largest boots. I have never owned a pair of boots that go up this high on my legs. I'm a big fan at the moment. The shape, it's very new to me. I guess to most women it's not because they've been wearing Uggs and those Uggs go up super high. I would imagine the length will come in super handy when it's really, really cold up because you know, you're, you're keeping more of your legs under wrapped. And this is actually my first pair of winter boots if I haven't said it. So, I mean, had I kept it, but the shaft, they're very, very big, three layers. So cotton lining, polyester filling and goat fur and possibly goat leather. We'll talk about that soon. So owning a pair of boots that are this tall have made me reconsider how I dress, which we'll, we'll talk about later as well. But overall, I'm a big, big fan of the new shape. For me anyway, I'm a big, big fan of the height of the boots, the shaft, they're very long. I'm a fan. It's so warm about just wearing it indoor and like I was sweating. Mega laces. Prior to getting these, I didn't think I would like the mega laces that much, mainly because I've seen them so much online. So seeing it in person now, it is amazing. Really, really love the intricate nature of the mega laces. They really live in up the boots. Otherwise, it would have been a bit more boring, even with the fur and all that. But the mega laces really add that extra touch that makes that takes it to the next level for me they really just one thing though one thing i don't like the color i wish they were truly white or truly black the fact that it's gray it kind of fits into or blends into the silver gray goat fur so anyway you get the pentagram on the front and it's sort of crisscross crazy on the shaft i don't think there was any system retail on these was twenty nine hundred dollars it is not worth it at all obviously the lack of leather underneath takes a lot of hit for me, which we will talk later. I was expecting goat skin or at least cat skin. Some sort of skin, you know, not cotton or polyester, but you know, it's a collab. So there's more phone call, email between the two brand. This pushes the expenses higher. People need to get paid. The event that Moncler are through for, the collaboration. So, you know, every little thing get passed down to the consumers. I mean, clearly there's a market for these sort of item at this price range because, dude, it was sold out on the first days. If I knew people would spend $2,900, I'm going to release the item for $2,900. So I don't blame them, really. Sizing. I got these in a size 43. My recommendation, which isn't, don't take too, don't put too much weight behind it because I haven't worn it, worn it. I wore it in my house, but I didn't walk too much with it. So size 43, I'm a natural 43. If I were to redo it, if I were to do it again, I would get a size 42. So I would go one whole size down. And you know that hurts me to say that because I love saying true to size. I genuinely had a hard time just walking around my room because my foot was just trying to slide out of it because they're kind of like easy slip on and off boots, right? Because there's no zippers to, you know, tighten it up. So the problem with easy slide on and off is if it doesn't fit properly, you got, your feet are going to try to come out. Material, the fur. So these are goat fur. So let's look at this cross section together. So most domestic goat have a hairy outer coat, which obscure the short, fine under wool or down. What most people think about goat, they think of cashmere, they think of wool, mohair. So according to the label on the boots, these fur are Capra agregus hicus tinto. Pronounce that so wrong. The hair. The very coarse. The use of the goat fur on these are more decorative because they keep you a little bit warmer, but it's not as warm as wool. The goat hair was the reason why I wanted these boots over the Luna. However, it is also the main reason why I'm returning. If I haven't said it, if you didn't watch the old video, the fur are just too long. I cannot bring myself to wear a $2,900 boot and fuck it up on the first wear because the fur is gonna get dirty the moment I... Anyway, I returned it aesthetically though. I love the look of the fur. I just wish I was a richer man who wouldn't care about the damage I would do to these boots. One negative thing I want to talk about, very, very negative. Do you see this? These were cut by hand for sure. I don't understand that. It's not like it's a case of you got to keep the fur even with other fur. They, this made me a bit mad because it just, it looks so wrong. Whoever decided this, I think it's Montclair. Montclair, you fucked up by 
having some intern cut this with scissors. The die. So here's how the team at Edward Goins and Montclair did the acid effect. I was very underwhelmed by the acid effect. It doesn't change how the fur feel. The dye was fairly decorative simply to change the color. There's no smell either. I was looking forward to feeling and smelling the differences, but I saw what they were going for on my pair. The right one was more yellow and the left one was more like dirty blonde with a hint of silver. Again, I didn't buy these boots for the degrading effects, but I, I appreciate the hand dye nature. I think these effects would have been a lot better on the jacket, which anyway, I'm, anyway, I may, I said anyway too much. Anyway, I mainly bought these boots for the material and the shape, not for the degrading effect, but it is cute. However, it didn't live up to my expectations. On the Rick Owens website, it says goat fur over leather, but I don't think it's leather. I believe the material to be polyester, polyethane, cotton, or something that is cheaper than leather. I have a goatskin suede leather jacket, and this doesn't feel the same. I understand that was suede, and this is, should be goat leather, but I think this could have been one of those situations where Rick and Montclair used goat fur, glue it onto a man-made fabric to save some money. If I'm wrong though, please correct me, Montclair, Rick, if this is what the grain of a goat skin feels like, I do not want to own any goat skin leather. So I'm going to stick to my horse and lamb. And if we put up like a, a goat leather jacket, do you see how it's I don't, it's not leather? In my opinion, it is not leather. A couple more reasons as to why I don't think it's leather. It doesn't look like a grain of any leather. No leather smell. Feel very plasticky, but not in an aniline leather feel. I mean, you're looking at the beer right now. It does not look like leather. Also, the weight, it is really light. Leather is heavier than, say, cotton, polyester, nylon, blah, 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 blah. Once again, this is my belief. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Cite your sources. Another thing, I also own two cow fur jacket and they do not shed this much. I've owned a Klaus jacket for like two, three years now, and I can safely say less than 200 fur has fallen off that leather jacket. And within five minutes of me wearing these boots, the fur were already coming off. And I understand that I could be stepping on it, but the fur from the top part were coming off. So I think, I really want to emphasize this, I think they were just glued onto a man-made material. With regard to the TPU also, I will use the other clip. So these are made with thermal plastic rubber. I'm just gonna say TPR from now. So TPR is a semi-crystalline material with both rubber-like and thermal plastic properties. This means it is flexible and can be manufactured using melt processing, te melt processing techniques like injecting molding, injection molding. So most sneakers on Adidas, New Balance, Nike, Puma, Reebok, whatever, the, the midsole and also are typically EVA, which stand for ethylene vinyl acetate. So, you know, them girls, most of them are using EVA. And after doing extensive research, here's why I believe Rick and the team decided to use TPR instead of a regular EVA. So TPR provide excellent fatigue resistance, chemical resistance, impact resistance, and they're highly recyclable because, you know, Rick and the team has been trying to be more environmentally friendly and, you know, EVA is not biodegradable. In fact, EVA is made from crude oil similar to nylon. If you want to learn more, watch my video where I talk about the nylon history and properties and all that. And with regard to, with regard to the why Rick and the team use TPR instead of regular rubbers or EVA, so I email Rick and here's what they have to say about that. I'm gonna be honest with you, this video would have been much longer had I kept the boots because then I would have more data. One day, hopefully this YouTube thing works out and I will have budget and you know, this, I will have, I can, I can afford to get items that I'm not a big, big fan of and review it. Like for example, any product from the Dior. So again, but if I do do that, I'm gonna be objective about it. I'm gonna go into it with an open mind, although I'm buying it knowing that it's Dior and it just a jacket, it just shaped like a jacket. I'm gonna be honest and I'm gonna be subject I'm gonna be objective about it. Was that a Freudian slip? With regard to what wearing this like, this is the first pair of boots that have made me reconsider a lot of trousers. Firstly, they do not look good with my flare trouser at all. The flare aren't big enough to cover the boot comfortably, so they look ill-fitting in a bad way. They don't look good with my straight, same situation, not big enough. They look great with my skinny trousers like my biker pants that I will eventually get to reviewing. Since these boots are so high, they look really good when you tuck the pants in there. I would never cover these beautiful boots. If you do, take your really wide-legged trouser pants out because 
They look decent with my banana trouser and my panty trouser. But if you are getting these boots, your skinnier trouser will get a lot of wear because you don't want to cover these boots up. They're so beautiful. You don't want to do it, trust me. With regard to tops, they look really good with my long coats, especially the black one. And especially, especially with the longer coats, the green one. I really need to get a coat that is ankle length. I'm looking at the Balenciaga right now and maybe the Rick Owens Tatlin coat. But again, Tatlin coat, it, it's taunting me. It, it's taunting me every day, but it's not different enough for me to justify the price tag so anyway beautiful beautiful pair of boots with some of my other tops look at it see if you like a particular look and if you have a similar garment in your closet so it's a bit easier for you to imagine what these boots look like in your closet it was really fun for me to just wear around the room and just play dress up i wish i was richer so then i wouldn't be too concerned about the price tag when i wear these out with my minimal experience of wearing it around the house i think this would have kept me really warm in the cold winter walking experience would have been would have would have had to adjust because of the shaft the one size too big i would have added one more insole to keep the boots a bit more comfortable a bit more tight anyway you know beautiful beautiful pair of boots i was very giddy when i got these boots i tracked it every day super excited to, until they got delivered play around with it play around with the fur the height these boots have really expanded my perspective on footwear because this is the first winter boots and it's the first pair of boots that are just super long and super large but I was too scared, couldn't bring myself to wear it out, too scared to get the fur dirty. I'm not at a point where I can wear a $3,000 pair of boots and fuck them up and not think twice. At this moment, I can only do that with 1K boots, so hopefully in the future, I will get better. I wanted these boots for winter, and with winter, the snow, water, dirty snow, dirty ground. Outside, it's just too outside-y, you know, so first pair of winter boots. I'm gonna ret I returned it. I'm gonna look for something else. I'm gonna get the Luna boots for sure. I've been, I'm, I've been tracking, stalking that bitch every day now because I want it for the practical reason. I thought the goat fur is great for aesthetic. I wanted these boots for the practical reason first and foremost. My name is Makasi. I always correct my mistake. Well, not really a mistake, but I always get what I want. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.